Good day, Captain. The deep space receiver has picked up a stray signal. It seems to be encouraging us to go to a specific coordinate in space. Hostile ships incoming. Somehow we are back to where we started, with our memories seemingly intact. The signal is still active, Captain. I cannot foresee what awaits us there. Whatever it is, it feels like the heart of this mystery. Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to another Let's Play I'm Miles Dyer and today we are diving in the, to the spacious world of Ghost Signal, a Stellaris story, or game, should I say. It's a, it's a Stellaris story as well. Um, this comes to us from Fast Travel Games, who were very kind to invite me to their studios at the start of the year, where I got to get my hands on PSVR 2 ahead of launch. And one of the games I got to play, not on PSVR 2, because at that point it was only out on Quest, was this game. And it was the very first time I'd ever played on a Quest VR headset. So I did struggle a bit with the game because I was getting used to the controls. But I did have a good time and I was really curious to play some more of it. Um, I want to say a huge thank you to everyone in the live chat right now. I can hear you in my ears. So hello, hello, hello to all of you. And for anyone that's watching on replay, hello to you as well. Feel free to let me know your thoughts in the comments section. I always check them out afterwards. And yeah, I've just come back from vacation, so I haven't done a Let's Play for what feels like a, a good 10 days at least. So I've been itching to get back into this. Um, and thanks to Fast Travel Games who did give me the game key for this ahead of launch. I have not stopped playing this game. Um, I love it. I absolutely love it. It's not going to be for everyone's liking, but I don't know if you can hear already the music. It is one of the most chilled action games I've ever played because there is a lot of battling but for some reason it just feels so chilled and like everywhere you look you can just see fragments and planets and bases and over there is the ghost signal so I've played a lot of this we're going to go into data files and uh, Looper just told me it's been 16 days wow that's like half a month uh, actually, it's not data. It's, uh, I guess, game menu. And then save slots. I've done 17 journeys so far. Here we go. Start a new file. Here we go. So let's just jump into it. Do hit the like button. Can't give a thumbs up at the moment. The music is so good. And this game came out today. Uh, this is a seated experience, which I normally play at seated. Um, but for this, we're going to be playing it standing up just because I couldn't be bothered to set things up differently. Please select your main hand. Right hand. Good day, Captain. Veer, your synthetic intelligence, ready as always. Hey, Veer. Nice to see you, Veer. The deep space receiver has picked up a stray signal. It is behaving erratically. We should return to base and analyze it. Agreed. Before we set off, let's make sure everything is fully operational. Starting by reviewing our weapon systems. Look at this. Let's start. Yeah, the music is very chilled. Note the enemy hull indicator on this hologram. When depleted, the target is destroyed. There we go. So the red is uh, the enemy hull. Okay. Noted. The short-range blaster cannon does increased damage against hull. Ammunition circles the crosshair. This was something about the game I wasn't too keen on, and I did feed it back to the devs, but eventually you do just get used to it. So when you're looking, you can see the green, and you can see the, uh, which is the target ring, 
but then you can also see the, the bullets. So it's interesting, because as you're shooting it, you're like, oh, you're taking down its health. No, that's the ammo. The red is the hole. So there we go, blew it up. You can move Excellent around shooting. like this. As always, Captain. Ammunition refills automatically over time. Proceed. As for threats armed with shields, the long-range laser will inflict the most damage. There we go. So what you do is you choose laser. So you, you, you do have three main weapons. You have the blaster, which is is for the hull, the red. You have the laser, which is for the shield, which is the blue. And then you at the top, you get rockets, which are like do damage to both and they're a lot rarer to come by they don't recharge you have to like um, earn them from destroying big enemies or buying them from traders so here we go using the laser to bring down let's come over actually let's have a look so oh there we go using the laser the shield's broken and then you would use the blasters is it not letting me Oh, maybe you've got to, oh, I've got to destroy it with a laser as well. You can use lasers to destroy the hull, well and you done. can use blasters Shields to take down the shield as well. So try to adapt to the situation. Well done. Shield are always depleted before hull, so try to adapt to the situation. All right, let's move on. Missiles have near infinite range and are very effective against both hull and shields. There we go. This is what I was talking about. So you pull it to charge it, and then... Oh, I thought you have to let go. You can just keep holding it. There we go. Destroyed. Missiles are powerful, but have limited ammunition. Oh, this ship. More ammunition can be salvaged from hostile encounters. Okay. Weapon system calibration complete, Captain. Let's check ship movement controls. Affirmative. How chill is this game, everyone? So, uh, you move the ship um, using the X button. So what you do is you basically plot where you want it to go. And then you can do a chain. I use the trigger afterwards. So there you go. And then the yellow bar is your thruster. And you can basically... And you can interrupt at any point you want. It slows down time when you do it. And there you go, thruster. And you can see it drains, and then you've got to wait for it to Excellent. come back. Ready to move out, Captain. Let's go. But first... I'm only a hologram, Captain. There's a trophy for hitting five times. Let's go. Sector available. Turn your hand palm facing up, and select the sector map you can you can press it if you want but you can just click the trigger and then here's the map and so we're going towards the home base but first we have to go via an asteroid field look at this valuable resources can be salvaged from hostile ships but also from drifting rocks our scanner has near infinite reach. You have a scanner, and you can do this, and some of them will glow. The and that means there are resources in it. Asteroids due to its long range. But you can use blasters. And then use your scanner to pick it up. Scrap collected. This handy resource functions as currency in this part of the universe. I'm receiving bits of the strange signal again. It is most certainly more than space static. Ancient, but decryptable. Let's return to base. Turn the data hand, and here we go. It's a home base. We are. Welcome back to UNE Outpost FS612, Captain. Hello. Good to be back. The strange signal has been analyzed. When decrypting the irregular pulses emanating from deep space, we found a faint embedded message. Let's hear it. 
create. What could this mean? It is impossible to decipher its meaning without context. Advanced decryption might shed some light. Establishing uplink to the UNE core server. Stand by. Strange. Uplink to UNE HQ is non-responsive. Re-establishing connection. Re-estab... That didn't sound good. Warning. There it is. Catastrophic waveform incoming. What? Energy reading immeasurable. Uh -oh. It's coming towards us. You can't actually touch me. <laughs> you can't actually touch me. Ghost signal. A Stellaris game. And here we are. Back on the main menu. Let's play. Captain, the anomalous event has ceased. Personnel and technology are seemingly unharmed, apart from a few key functions. What happened? Strangely, long-range communication and skip drive are non-functional, while all other systems are intact. We cannot return to a core system or receive vital resources like nutrients. We should not rule this out as an attack. It seems deliberate. And the mystery signal? Still transmitting. I have traced the signal, and it originates from the same direction as the energy wave. To reach the source, we need to go into uncharted space. We need to investigate this. It is imperative, Captain. If we do not solve our situation, we will perish. Let's begin the journey. How are we doing, chat? We doing good? Hostile so here we are. Approaching, Captain. These parts of space are not safe. Look at this below us. Remember to switch between blaster and laser. It's amazing. Of course. The blaster has a shorter range and is most efficient against enemy hull. The laser has a longer range and does increased damage against shields. Thanks for the reminder. One final thing. Our own ship shield recharges between sectors. As long as we don't deplete our ship hull, we stand a chance. So ship hull doesn't recover, but shield does. So here we go. There we go, blew it up. Object emitting a beacon. I do. Scan it to retrieve a component. Select which component to equip. So now we get either freeze ray, which decreases the target movement speed when hit by your laser, and then each time you upgrade it. And to upgrade it, it costs 200 of these scrap pieces. This purple currency you keep when you die or complete the run. And then you use that to invest into your ship and other research areas. What's the other one? Ah, oh. adds decoy drones to be targeted by enemies. Absolutely. There we All go. Components grant new powers. Got a little drone there. Finding the right combination will be crucial for the success of our journey. Got it. Components can also be bought from traders and upgraded using scrap in the ship components menu. And so as was mentioned in the tutorial, you just want to scan everything and any flashing asteroid will have scrap in it, but we've already scanned everything. And then you choose where you want to go on the map. So we need to go here first. Look at this. Our radar has detected a new threat, fast approaching. It's amazing. This enemy will try to charge at us at high speed. All right, what's the tactic? Moving out of its path would be advisable. All right. Use the thrusters to quickly escape if need. Finally, while plotting a path, our perception of time slows down. We can use this to chain waypoints and maneuver out of harm's way. We're ready. Here it is.
Oh, that was a close one. Oh yeah, you can't hit asteroids while combat's happening. Okay. That's everything. Oh, this game is beautiful. So, we now have a choice of which route we want to take. So, I'll talk about this first row. You have question marks, which means it's a random event. Often it's like an alien or or a planet to search. Um, you then have creatures, which are these giant creatures. Some of them are friendly, some of them are hostile. But if you complete the area, you can get some goodies. And then P is if there's a shipwreck in, a, in that certain area. The P could be on any of these other things. So that's just a regular battlefield. And then here we have a utility trader. So if we want to trade some uh, utilities and then we also have elite battle now elite battles are as you'd expect very tough battles but you do get a lot more resource out of it and um, that's what we're going to go for so we're going to go via the creature here we go There's a creature there. Oh, that was close. There we go. This sector contains a creature, a non-hostile space whale. It is too big to challenge, but scan it to retrieve a unique component. Okay, let's have a look. Have we got any other asteroids to search? Yeah, over there. Nice. Here we go. So we got increased mind scrap when destroying asteroids using uh, a laser. So that means I get 50% extra. And as I said, we've got 282 here. So we could actually use that to upgrade it to 100% extra. But um, Many more alien creatures exist out there, both friendly and hostile. Next time, there is no telling what we might encounter. Okay. Let's get out of here. Um, do you know what? I am going to upgrade here. Now, what you can do is you can click on... Look how many different mo uh, modules you can get. So, you can click on a component. And then you can upgrade it twice. It's 200 each time. Or you can recycle it and get 50 back. Um, so, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna because we're quite early in the game I'm actually gonna upgrade this so I get more from the asteroids so ideally I should have done that and then mined but oh well how are we doing chat everyone's really quiet but it's such a chill game right look These at this like the sh battles. shade but shadows on it. We will always be able to salvage a free component as a reward. Bring it on. Here we go. Now I've played a lot of this game, so I will probably make this look a lot easier than I definitely found it when I first played it.
Oh, quick. Oh, hit me. Big boy. There we go. That uh, ability means that when you destroy its shield, it deactivates your ship for a bit. So this is a ship that you could probably use a missile on because it will most likely give you a missile back. Right, let's just take this down. There we go. Or else it's going to keep spawning ads. There we go. Now, let's have a look over here. The choice is yours. Increases the duration of the laser or atomic missiles increases the explosion radius Well, we haven't got many missiles. We're gonna use a lot more of laser in this early stage of the game. So I would go with that right, let's... There we go crack that open Okay, let's move on It looks like the Doom Slayers uh, base. <laughs> and what's great is you can go really far away. Like, this is a big area. Keep going higher, but look when you start getting out the area, you got this, and you can't actually move around, so you have to grab back in the area that it will allow you. Here we go. Yeah, the laser range is so long. Now you can hold down the blaster button and it will shoot like on a regular thing like this. But it's just quicker to tap it. Cool. Oh, almost forgot that. Cool, let's go on. Now we go to the next area. And as you can see, we're in sector two of three, four, five, six, seven sectors. So we're now going to a question mark area. Spooky, 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 spooky. These sectors open up all sorts of possibilities, but take caution so we don't get infected by defects. How much does this cost? Someone can, um, all the details are in the description of this video, including a link to the PlayStation Store for both US and EU. I believe it's £15.99 and around $20, um, which I think is an absolute bargain if this is your kind of game. You're going to get a lot out of this. Look at this. And look at that, where they've harnessed the energy from the sun. That's awesome. These sectors open up all sorts of possibilities, but take caution so we don't get infected by a defect. Defected? Defects are negative components that cannot be recycled. Only specialized craftsmen like the Tinkerers can dismantle them.
I see. For now, scan that strange structure to make contact. Did you come here just to meet us? Why? We are 101011. Ever so pleased to make your friendship follow. So I can say, state your purpose or who are you? Okay, who are you? We are the victors, but we are without victory. Victory belongs only to the ancient one. Is your translation module broken? Let us conduct our business. Do you have a strong <laughs> food sack? Hunger for danger? Choose your fighter. So you can have a level 3, fully upgraded piece. 25% chance though, 75% of getting a defect. You can go 50-50 with a level 2, or if you want certainty. We're going to go 50-50. Oh no, we got bad karma equipped. All indications say we are done here, Captain. Here we go, look. It decreases all damage by 25%. That's not good. And the only way you can remove them is by uh, coming across a tinkerer. One of these, um, which we're going to be heading to. Right, we're going to go. We're going to go visit another creature. This music, so good. Captain, the ether drake is gathering. Oh, look at that! For its there we go. It's going to be destroying all these. Um, we want to basically destroy this as quick as we can because this creature is going to be destroying all the asteroids and taking all their... Uh... Oh yeah, hit him. There we go. That's good. more of the uh, asteroids it destroys, the more of its ability. There we go. Now we can do this. Quick, quick, quick. If it destroys an asteroid, it takes the uh, resources from it. So basically, I just want to get everything now. Here we go. Quick. Got it. Ooh. That was a close one. See, it's gone away. You got some of that. Right, I think that's everything. Quick, quick. Go, go, go. We are learning more and more. Repairs upon entering a new sector by three, six. I mean, we equip this. We don't have a choice. And if you don't like something, you can always cash it in again. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, creature. Yeah, state your purpose is good. So let's have a look. How many missiles? I've got no missiles now, so I didn't get any. Oh, there's a big boy. Oh. Oh, that hit me good. This isn't good. Come on. Okay, that's destroyed. Now I just have to worry about those rockets it shoots.
Second there we go. Captain. Right, let's have a look. Nope, nothing else scanning. Oh, there we go. Every little helps. Right, we've got 800. But we'll, we'll wait for the tink tinkerer. Because we might be able to buy some good stuff there. The tinkerer, though, you always get the same three choices. Which I'll show you when we get there. Do you know what? Should upgrade that again. There you go. Get more from drilling. Nice. Look at this. Up there. It's amazing. There's an ability that I've unlocked, which means when I scan planets, it tells me what they are, which is kind of cool. Greetings, it appears your chosen path is most serendipitous, for it has brought us together for a singular opportunity. Is that so, or why are you all alone out there? Why are you alone, all alone out there? Most of my kin are small-minded cowards, unwilling to make the sacrifice necessary for progress. That does not appear to be the case with you. Go on. Go on. As I'm sure you're aware, this is a dangerous part of the galaxy, and I happen to be an expert in high-impact weaponry. Interesting. However, progress comes at a cost. You can fund my research, or perhaps participate in one of my experiments. Oh. Let's risk it. Oh, no. Radiation leak. I guess we'll never know. Ready to move out, Captain. So I've now got this. Makes all dropped loot disappear after three seconds. Okay, so we've got to be quick with that. Now we're going to the Tinkerers. Now the Tinkerers, it gives you three ships to trade with, and each of them offer the same thing every time. So we seem to have found the Tinkerer brothers, known for their exceptional craftsmanship and cumbersome. Sim this might cause interference with our systems. This is not a productive use of your time, or mine. Do you think this is some oh, there we kind go. of game? Virtual high five. Contact each one before making your choice. So this one offers to repair 50% of your hull for 100. Scrap. Let me think about it. I don't need repairing. This one. Greetings. If you have any defects that need dismantling for 100, he will discard a defect. We're definitely going to do that. And then the third one is for 100, he'll increase your max number of missiles by one. Oh, I did get the plus two, but I, I got the defect as well. Okay. So, what we're going to do is we're going to remove a defect and I'm going to do bad karma because we want increased damage. And the rest of them get all sulky because you didn't trade with them. It's nothing personal. Bye bye. Increases duration. Uh, maybe I'll increase the decoys. Um, actually, the laser is going to be a pretty good one. Let's have a look. One. Yeah, let's increase the duration. And then let's have one of these. There we go. There we go. We've got two drones now. I love the shadows as they go under the ship. It's cool. Look at that. It's cool. It's really cool. Right. We've got a boss, the Chimera. I hate the Chimera. The Chimera is evil. Look at this. How evil. Some people in the chat saying they can't get the demo working. That's a shame. Does it just not start up or... 
I'm curious to know what the demo actually shows. Um, so each of these components does a different thing. This one here shoots these like bombardments. This one fires ships at you. And this one shoots these like mines that after a while they start coming at you pretty quick. I hate this boss so much. Okay, that's taken down. Ah, oh, the demo says it needs an update. Interesting. Oh. Go. One more component, and then we can take out the uh, middle piece. There we go. Chimera and all submodules terminated. Got to grab Choose it quick because don't the forget I've got that uh, defect that means it disappears after three seconds. Right. Curious Soul increases the amount of this gained from enemies. Which, if I was playing my regular game, I would definitely be doing it. But I'm playing a new game, so I'm not. Hunter's Mark reduces all damage and effects from creatures. I don't really need that, though. Alright, we'll do um, Curious Soul, but I can always sell it. Alright, everyone. Onwards now to stage three. Out of seven. Now, where do we want to go? I guess we're going to go visit a creature. Uh, or we could have an elite battle. Now, let's go check out another creature. What are we going to fight against? Oh, wow. I didn't know you could find this creature uh, so early in. This dimension. Scary, scary, scary. Why is it not letting me shoot? Am I not? There we go. Oh, I have to be really close to it. It keeps creating these portals that it pokes its finger through, it looks like. Look at this. Look at that black hole. like that and you know what ability you get from it you know those little black holes it made where uh, it was able to poke through you get that data registry updated dark pact makes dimensional tentacles attack nearby targets every 10 seconds 8 seconds and 5 seconds so there we go very very helpful look at this black holes and event horizons and it's amazing. Kidoki. Onwards. Here we are. 
I love this, all these like meteors. Loving it. That's good. Some people in the chat have been playing it already. Having a good time with it. I'm really happy to hear it. It's a game that does get better the more you play it. Because at first I was like, this is pretty cool. And then I thought, I bet this is going to start getting a bit repetitive. And then once you start learning how to go through the game quite fast, you can end up like... You can complete a full run in like 40 minutes. Right. There we go, right, let's have a look what we got here. 200. Let's, um, let's get this sped up. Here we go. Look at this. Every time you appear somewhere, it's just, like, amazing. That's it. Intergalactic finger. I've actually not done the daily cha uh, challenge yet, but now it's out. I might give that a go later tonight. Threats terminated. There we go. Look at that. Look at the lightning, the storm on the planet. You see that? I love. I always love seeing how close you can get to it. But no, I can't go any further. But look at that. With the... Uh, Meteors. It's so cool. <laughs> oh, these ones are annoying. They'll start disappearing and leaving mines behind. They do it three times. There we go, where is it? There it is. You're going to get poked by my intergalactic finger. There we go. seconds. Right. We'll save it because you might need it for a store. Yeah, like this. Nothing worse than spending all your uh, scrap and then you get to a store and you're like, ah, oh, I shouldn't have done that. I should have waited. This sector contains a friendly components trader. 
Scan the ship to open up a communications channel. And you can buy all three if you want. Ooh. So a whole piercer increases damage. I, get, I don't tend to get these. You can get them both ways. You can get it so lasers do increased damage against hull and that uh, blasters do more damage against shield. I find you just want to max out the power of your weapons so they're good against the things they're already good at. Increase, and there you go, look, that's the flip side shield breaker. And then decreases reload time. Now, there is an ability you can get in this game. If short on scrap, we can recycle some components. Got it. You can get an ability that for both blasters and lasers says the more of a blaster you've got, the more powerful your blasters are. So look, if we go here, that's using a laser. That's using a laser. And that's using a laser. So then if I got that ability I was talking about, it would do times three. Um, so that's why it's also good to get a lot of, you know, basically decide what type of ability you want to use because then when you get to these the second boss you get to choose whether it's more of a focus on shield or more of a focus on hull with blasters all right we're going to go visit another another creature there's one creature that lives in a planet it's not here though Oh, this one's cool. When you take its shield down, it then splits in half. And you've got to destroy it before it connects into its hole again. Wow, look at that. Got absolutely wrecked. Stand by, Captain. When one of the feels threatened, oh, shit. They all charge to its defense. <laughs> they were hiding in the... Uh... Asteroid. Let's have a look at it. Whoa. Oh, I was not paying attention then. Oh shit, I just lost all that. Uh... Yeah, that defect is bad. I have an ability that automatically picks scrap as soon as it drops, which is very helpful. Information accumulated. What have we got? Cosm hardened shell reduces all enemies' damage when below 50%. I don't tend to use that a lot because I'm just like, just don't get below 50%. It is good to see a good sit down game. Uh, obviously, I'm not sat down. I normally play this sat down. Um, but playing stood up is pretty cool. But yeah, I would definitely play this sat down. Look at that. Every time I'm just like, it's incredible. And just seeing the stuff floating in space. All the lightning. Super cool. Super, super cool. Right, onwards. Hey, welcome to everyone who's just joined. Hope you're doing good. Oh, we've got more coming at us. Bring it. Here we go. Yep, 
Yeah, that galactic finger is powerful. Mm. Hits them hard. Unless it misses like that. Scanning. Nothing. Okay. Right. Oh, yes, not let me sc uh, hit it because there's an enemy. And just a reminder your shield heals after each sector. So now I've lost my shield, this is bad because your hull won't repair unless you go to a tinkerer. Obviously, that's just scrap you don't really want to have to spend. We got more. Oh, we got a big boy. It's opening up. Shooting loads of rockets at us. I mean, it's probably going to give me a missile, so I can probably shoot one at it. There we go. Did it give me one back? Actually, I'm not sure. I think I might. Oh, no. Oh, that was a close one. Hyperlanes ready for travel. Nice. Let's have a look. Okay, we're good. Right, we got some tinkerers. There's a trophy for from buying from something different from each tinkerer. This is good news, Captain. One of the oh, wow. Look at my hole. Me. I didn't realise my hole was that bad. We're going to need to do this. And then next time I'll buy from the missile thing and I get a trophy. Wow, I did not pay attention. I almost died. That was not good. Right. Thanks a lot for stopping by. Uh, Josh, I think it was who's leaving. Um, right. I'm going to go because I've got mainly it's my laser. that's. I'm going to go for the... Uh, Peter Luda. Here we go, the second boss, everyone. And there are three bosses in this game. This one's awesome. Let's wake it up. There we go. Now, the strategy I use is I keep just trying to get behind it. And it keeps trying to rotate. But this boss does something very evil when you uh, kill it. That took me by a lot of su surprise the first time. Right, let's just use some missiles. There we go. Now it uses these. You don't want these eggs to grow because they release like ships like that right all the shields gone now look look it's almost gone and you're going to see what it does here we go right i'm going up here it will start burning up and then it will go at you so you then got to get out the way. Whoa. That's how it's done. The size is not everything. There we go. Which do you prefer? Hollowed out. Right, do I want hull repair to a minimum threshold? Nah. Or special rerouting. Chance of instantly recharging your boost when depleted. I don't really care for that. Um, but let's do that. Okay. Look at that. Nice. Right. Did it give me many missiles back? No, it gave me none. 
Right, uh, so we go through here, and now we're in the section, the last two, which is what I used to die on a lot when I started playing this game. Let's just see, though, if I uh, do all right with a basic ship that I've not upgraded yet. Spend your scrap wisely, Captain. Oh, nice. So, probability drone increases likelihood of all probability-based effects. Haven't got any. Hull restore increases effectiveness of all instances when repairing. This one I love. Jack's bond. But it doesn't activate until you've done nine sectors. Let's have a look. One, two, three, four, five. There'll be nine. We've still got nine to go. Uh, it's a good one to have. I'm not going to tell you what it does until it hatches. Cool. Right, I'm not going to do an elite battle. I think that will kill me. Let's go visit another creature. Be wary, Captain. Right. That thing has now, this section is difficult. Energy. You get a lot of these fast ones. And you get these things that heal. And they, they crystallize to hide. Oh, man. And then they split into multiple. I hate them. Here we go. Yeah, Red Matter came out on PSVR 2 today. I will be live streaming that next. So stick around. These are the ones you want to take out first because they just keep healing others. And you can see that the uh, like the flare coming off these, it's draining our shield and energy. And that is that doing that. So let's um, quickly get out of here. You have unlocked a new entry in the data form. What have we got? Increases damage. Okay, that's good. We're all about the laser on this run. Let's get out of here. Right, we're going to go to a mystery mystery location. Oh, back here. State your purpose. Here we go. Am I going to risk it like last time? Oh. Let's do 50-50. Yay! Special charger. Clear for hyperlane travel at your command. Recharges your boost when a ship takes damage amount. Okay. There's a lot here that I don't really need, but um, I'll keep it until I need to actually recycle it. Here we go, right. Oh, these are like... These charge at you. And they're pretty mean. And then you destroy them. And then you think they're gone. I think that one is gone. Sometimes they uh, come back. Either that or another one replaces it. My blast has run out so quickly.
guy. Here we go, got a big boy. Getting healed by this one. Yeah, see those drones that I've got that they shoot at first. So, so helpful. That has definitely saved my life well a few done, times. Captain. There we go, right. Final sector, everyone. Right, we're gonna go. We're gonna go towards this creature. We're gonna just keep going for the creatures. I want to find a tinkerer as well, so I can increase my rocket amount. There's a trader in this sector, Captain. Right, what have we got here? Shield booster increases maximum ship shield. This is a must because your shield replenishes after each section. Your hull doesn't, so I am gonna buy that. Iron Will reduces damage from enemy rockets and explosions. I mean, I tend to shoot down the rockets, so I'm all right. And anti-laser plating reduces... All right, we'll do that. We'll do a bit of that. And then here... Let's do that. Look at the uh, shield going up. There you go, that's done. A that's almost doubled it. Now, what do I need to get rid of? What don't I need? I want to I re recycle that. I want to recycle that as well. I want to increase this. Yeah. Okay. Let's go visit a creature. Oh, no, let's go for this first. Yeah, take that. Oh, we got a big boy. This rocket splits into multiple. So you've got to be really careful. Oh, no, he's getting healed again. He was getting healed by that down there. Here we go. There we go. Sector clear. Space use oh shit, space amoeba. Oh, this is the creature section. Yeah, if there's not a creature around, that will be why. Because they're hiding in the uh, some of the asteroids. Oh wow, there's a lot here. And when they hit each other, they damage themselves. Mm. 
There we go. Oh. Right, what have I got? Didn't tell me what data I got. Hmm. Maybe I didn't get anything. One of the other abilities you can get is so you can plot an extra line. Because you see at the moment I can do one and then two. There's one that allows me to plot a third one, which is super useful. Alright everyone, we are four away. Four sectors away from the end. Can I do it? That was a close one. Oh no, I just missed some uh, resource. Right, let's just take this out with a missile. Let's get... Oh, shit. They are almost... They are killing me. Uh-oh. This is not good. No! No! So brutal. But there you go. You'll never see the end, people. Captain, I cannot compute this. Somehow we are back to where we started, with our memories seemingly intact. How can this be? I cannot present a plausible reason for this, at all. Recognitive scans indicate that all scrap and components have been lost, reset, as if our last journey had never actually happened. That's inconvenient. However, like our memories, we seem to have kept valuable experience. Let us use this to make some improvements. Let's do it. Please enter the research area. Here we can unlock permanent upgrades to make future journeys easier. Got it. Select the first available upgrade on the left. Research it to improve the ship hull. Increases the ship hull by 10%. Got 1,540. This costs 125. Excellent. There are multiple different research areas. Make sure to review them all. Great. So we have the Aurora for the ship. We then have it for assistance. So this is things like traders will discount one random component by 20% in total. And then components here. So like it will actually add new items into the journey pool. So you get stuff like this one, black hole missiles can now be appear on journeys, create a black hole before exploding. And there you go. And then in the hangar, you can unlock additional ships. When done with preparations, we should set out again. The mysterious signal is still transmitting. So when you click play, that basically grows again and it wipes you out like it did at the beginning. And you just keep going round again and again. You also have daily journey here. And daily journeys are where you see people's high scores and you get sent a set, a, a set of modifiers. You get, um, it all explained there and then you play it. I've not done this yet, um, just because before launch it didn't seem. But Spooky, who was in the chat actually, uh, was there. We've got Gamer Tags there. Fluke Rogi is there. Um, I might give this a go later tonight. Um, and then, um, what else have we got? Um, if I go to data files, I mean game files, and save slots, and open this.
Good day, Captain. Veer, the deep space receiver, has picked up a stray signal. Before we set off, let's make sure... It's interesting it makes you do the tutorial when you're loading your your save game again. So... Welcome back to UNE. A strange signal has been yeah. analyzed. No, oh, it's it interesting it's doing all this strange. again. Uplink to UNE HQ is... This must be a glitch. Re-establishing connection. Re-establish... Catastrophic waveform incoming. Energy reading immeasurable. Brace for impact. Hopefully it hasn't lost my main save. I'll be very, very sad. So Captain, the unstrangely we cannot still trap it is imperative. I did ask it not to do the tutorial, didn't I? Let me have a look here. Maybe I clicked to do the tutorial. Captain, I cannot compute this. I'm sorry, Captain. Recognitive scans. However, like our memories, we seem to have kept them. Right. When done with... Okay, that is concerning. Oh no! It's literally erased. It's erased my save file. I clicked it, clicked open file, and look. Ah. Oh. Well, I'm going to send this clip to Fast Travel Games because, uh, yeah, I was going for the platinum and I've lost everything, which is super annoying. And I'm pretty sure I clicked open file and not delete file. Um. Right, if I come back, basically I had done all of this except the uh, cosmetics. I had done pretty much all of this. And then I had done... Uh, I'd done a lot of this. Um, and I'd unlocked the, uh, the next ship, which was this one here. Um, oh, man. Because then what happens is, um, you do play, oh it's not going to do it. So basically, once you've completed the game, you then have threat variants. And um, what it means is you have to complete it uh, 10 more times. But every time you complete it, you have to add another uh, threat variant. And I was number 6 out of 10. Uh, which means I've now got to complete the game regularly. Oh, man, I've got to grind everything in. That's annoying. Uh, anyway, it's all good. I um, These things happen. I can get in contact with Fast Travel Games. I'll let them know about it. Hopefully, they can fix me up with a save file or something because uh, that is depressing. Because uh, I'm really enjoying this game, but there's no way in hell that I'm starting it from the beginning. Uh, but at least I flagged that up. If you're playing right now, don't um, switch save game files uh, like I did. Uh, or else that you'll lose everything. So, uh, yeah. Um, but listen, everyone. This game I absolutely love. The music, the atmosphere. It is the most chill action game I think I've ever played. Um, and it's just a wonderful one to sing along, sit down and play along to. So, yeah. Um, would love to hear your thoughts. Let me know uh, your thoughts if you've started playing it in the comments section below. And as always... <laughs> Someone's saying, I hear, don't buy until the bug is fixed. The bug is fine. As long as you're playing just your regular save file, that is fine. But what I did was I went to load my uh, regular save and uh, it restarted it. I might watch it back on replay. I'm pretty sure I didn't press the delete button. Um, so I, I don't know if anyone else can tell me that. But um, I'll find out. I'll message them uh, straight away. Um, but yeah, um, listen everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in to this Let's Play. I've been Miles Dyer, and I am on a mission to Let's Play every single PSVR 2 game out there. And there are a lot coming out this month in October, uh, the month in which I currently stand. Uh, so do subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about all future Let's Plays, including my Wednesday uh, live show, Miles Dyer Live. It's always a good time. And uh, I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Hit the like button, and uh, thank you very much, everyone. 
拜拜。